Today, we have three resin printers from the same company, each with improved screen quality, ranging from 4K, 6K, and all the way up to 12K. This is a perfect opportunity to test the differences in print quality. This test will be using the Mezgai Deep Shroud because it looks cool. I'll be using the standard lychee settings with the layer height of 0.05 and 0.03. The reason I'm using the standard settings is I want to show you what you would get out of the box with one of these printers. First up is the Alagoo Satin 4K. It boasts a 9 inch build plate with a 4K screen at 50 microns. This printer has been my workhorse and just keeps printing. Next we have the Alagoo Mars 4 Max. This printer is also a 9 inch build plate but is fitted with a 6K screen at 34 microns. The Mars 4 Max is basically Alagoo Satin 4K with an upgraded screen with some weight loss. Last up we have the Alagoo Satin 3 that has been fitted with a 10 inch build plate slightly bigger than the two previous printers and also boasts a 12 inch screen at 24 microns. This is fast becoming my new favorite printer from, from my collection. If content like this interests you, please consider subscribing and joining the conversation in the comments section below. I want to hear what your favorite printer is and why. First up, we start with the Saturn 4K. We need to jump into the slicer, in this case, Lychee. I will be using the standard settings and making sure this print is set to a 0.05 layer height. Previously, I mentioned this printer being my workhorse and I mean it. Most of my 3D printing videos have been printed on this beast. You can no longer buy this printer brand new thanks to the ever evolving printer market. This printer is seen as old tech. But does that mean if you own a 4K printer, do you need to sell up and get the latest and greatest? Has printed the technology actually grown so much as manufacturers want you to think? Well, that is what we are trying to answer here today. I'll be using the Wargamer resin I had left over in all the printers, trying my best to keep this simple test as even as I possibly can. Though the Saturn 4K has been great, there has been something that has been limiting me and that is the speed. It does seem that there is some kind of hard limit with how fast you can print using the slicer. So this print actually took around four hours maybe she is just getting old with the print finished it does look like a successful plate and scraping it off the build plate is nice and smooth i have never sanded my build plates just leveled in print while I'm working on this print, I will chuck the build plate back on the printer and get the 0.03 mini going. Time to wash the model. I am using methylated spirits when I wash my 3D prints, mainly because it is cheap at my local hardware store, but I do keep a spray bottle of IPA. Methylated spirits is not meant for wiping down plastics as it leaves a little misty residue and IPA will dry clear. But for washing prints in methylated spirits and IPA, both work great for cleaning prints. What cleaner do you use to clean your models? I'm curious to see what you have to add to the conversation. Removing the supports show a nice printer model. I must admit it is hard to tell if this test will make me say you have to sell your 4K printer. It looks damn good to me. After all the supports are removed, that is where I will cure the mini. It is a good idea to let the washing liquid evaporate before you cure. Stops the print looking chalky in some occasions. Let's put this model together using what is left over of my Loctite gel super glue. I have started to make sure I sand the contact points of the model in hope to form a better bond. That is the only thing I miss when working with miniatures from the sprue is plastic glue. Having the miniature all together, I'm just going to mark the bottom of the bases so I know which one is which. In this case, S150 for satin one, 50 microns. The 0.03 layer height print is done, so I'll get it off the build plate. Lowering the layer height to 0.03 does increase the print times due to the extra layers needed because of how thin the, each layer is. In this case, it was a further 20 minutes longer than the 0.05 print. All right, with the satin 4K prints done, let's look at them side by side. The left we have the 0.05 layer height print and on the right is the 0.03 layer height print. Can you see the difference between the two? The main detail I see improved on the 0.03 print is the arch around the helmet. The layer lines have been smoothed out a lot more. In saying that, this is a close up and even though I need to wear reading glasses to actually see it, I didn't see the layer lines on the 0.05 layer height print until I was in the editor. What this tells me so far is that older 4K printer with this 9 inch build plate prints very well. Remember this printer is rated at 50 microns. Well let's see if a 6k printer can do even better. Here we have the Alagoo Mars 4 Mac. It looks to be a short lived printer since it has not been available to buy on Alagoo's main website for some time now. 
unsure why i'm guessing it was not as popular as the saturn series that had a bigger screen and for a little bit of extra dollary dues this printer is very similar to the saturn 4k just with an upgraded screen and allegory removed a lot of the fat from the printer reducing the, its size and weight it was also using this new dot goo file type i have to say it was not the best to work with at the start in my discord i was posting my uh, grievances with the printer i had to re-slice the model because the slice file was not working and the build plate just kept raising each time the printer screen would do a layer anyway i got it fixed and sliced a new file and it worked fine with the 0.05 print done it is time to wash the miniature i am excited to see if i've noticed any difference with this print while the 0.05 mini is in a cure machine i'll mix up the resin since the resin has been left in the vat for a couple days and then i'll get to the 0.03 print going this time with gluing the miniature i went out and bought some of the super glue activator by gale force 9 which works fantastic this is going to be my new method for putting together prints from now on i will mark the base as m50 and that means the mars printer at 0.05 layer height and the other one will be m30 for the 0.03 layer height on the mars left will be the 0.05 and right will be the 0.03 layer height print zooming in it looks like we have the exact same thing going on where the arch has some layer lines while the 0.03 one is more smoothed out so far not much of a difference that i can see must be missing something let me know what differences you can see Okay, onto the Saturn 3. This printer is meant to have a 12K screen. That is double that of the Mars 4 Max and is sporting a 10 inch build plate. One inch does make a difference when trying to squeeze as many minis on a build plate as you can. It is rated to have around 24 microns. Also, the print speed has improved a lot. I am now getting the exact same prints out in an hour for the 0.05 print and an hour 20 for the 0.03 print. Once again, on the left is the 0.05 layer height print and on the right, is the 0.03 model. The layer lines on the 0.05 model have the same story, except this time it looks to be smoothed out a bit more and the 0.03 layer height one is once again very smooth. I think the 30 microns seems to be where you want your models to be for the best quality and maybe I will push that to 0.02 on the Saturn 3. Here we have all three minis. Left is the Saturn 1, middle is the Mars 4, and right will be the Saturn 3. Let me know in the comments what you have noticed. Uh, what would you do to improve the quality of each printer? Also, what printer would you recommend to a new person in the hobby? For me, even though the Saturn 4K prints well and it's still great, the improved speeds of the Saturn 3 is probably where I would land. I think it would be a good idea to chuck a primer followed by a zenithal highlight. I feel like this is a stage where most of us leave our minis in, right? Or is this just a me thing? Either way, I look at the results here. I'll take one thing from this test. What do I want in a 3D printer? I think we have hit the quality mark and I think making the process easier and what do I mean by that is making the whole process for a new hobbyist to press a button and print comes out great every time. And how do they do that? I think it starts at the slicer. Invest more time into getting auto support algorithms to work better and with the printers, I think it would be a good idea to include heated vats as standard more monitoring such as letting us know if the vat is too dirty and needs to be cleaned before the next print also a good screen crush protection detect if there is an obstruction in the vat that could cause damage to the screen what would you add to the list of wants for 3d printing whatever printer you buy just make sure it has cheap replacement parts such as screens check with other users what company will support your warranty claims and you're out of warranty claims but as far as printing quality goes you are all good with any printer you choose so don't worry there it is okay to have an older printer if it does what you want it to do if you have enjoyed this video give it a like and a sub to the channel and you should get more videos like this